Way back in Paul's day, when he wrote to Timothy, we find in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 2, the condition the world would be in in the last days. <laughs> For people will be lovers of self, utterly self-centered, lovers of money, aroused by an inordinate, greedy desire for wealth, proud and arrogant, contemptuous boasters. They will be abusive, blasphemous, scoffing, disobedient to parents, ungrateful, unholy, and profane. Well, I, I, don't, I don't see anything on there that's missing today, do you? Now, come on, don't get depressed. That's not bad news. This is the era, the time, the year that God has chosen us to be alive in the earth. Come on, this is exciting. You're a believer in Christ. You came here today, you took off work. This is Friday morning. You came here today to be taught the Word of God. So man, I'm gonna go for it. And I'm going to say, this, this is the condition of the world, but it must not, it cannot, it dare not be our condition. And so we're going to encourage one another to be generous. You know, there's actually scriptures that tell us that we are to continually encourage one another to be generous hearted. Come on, we don't need to sit at lunch with our friends and gossip and do nothing but talk about all of our problems. Why don't you have lunch with a few people and talk about how you could be a blessing to somebody else? Boy, that would be enjoyable, wouldn't it? As Christians, we must learn not to possess our possessions. Because really the truth is, nothing we have is truly ours. We are stewards, and there's great stories in the Bible, great scriptures in the Bible that tell us we are stewards and that the master is coming back to take an account of what we have been left with, to see what we did with it, and we will be rewarded accordingly. There's the payoff. <laughs> Amen? Man, I believe Roy and Kathy are going to have a phenomenal payoff. 19 years up and down the road, ministering to prisoners, 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 prisoners. Most people in the world, I mean, you know, everybody knows what I'm doing. I'm on television. But most of the world doesn't even know what they're doing. But God knows. God knows. And see, if God has given you an assignment, the best thing in the world for you to do is just do your assignment and just keep it up and 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 keep it up and, it up and guard yourself that you don't get small-souled and selfish because the Lord is coming soon. You're going to hear this from me this year. I hope every time you turn the TV on, somewhere in there, you're going to hear the Lord is coming soon. I think we have to get ready, and I think that we have to get people ready. And so see, this is the condition of the world, but this is not our condition. So what are we? We are lights. Come on, this is so simple. The world is full of darkness. We are light. He is the light of the world, and we now represent him. So we go out, and all we got to do is just shine. All we got to do is just get the dirt off of our bulb and turn the lights on. Come on, if you got a three-way bulb, get it off a of dim and get it cranked up to the highest level. Amen? I don't want any more of that mood lighting in my life. My gosh, the hotel I'm in this time, you can't even hardly see yourself. I'm like... Everything looks yellow. I look yellow. My, it's like, man, I like light. Sometimes when I go out and do a conference like this and I'm in a hotel like that, I mean, I know why they don't do it. They don't want their bills to be high, but I 
would like to see myself when I'm in the hotel. <laughs> I mean, honestly, if I'm not careful, by the time I get out of there, I'm almost starting to feel a little bit oppressed. We need light. The world would not feel so oppressed if we would get out there and shine. I felt like the Lord showed me one time. I felt like he said this. I've got my people everywhere. They're in factories. They're in schools. They're in colleges. They're in government. They're in the marketplace. They're in the grocery stores. We're everywhere. but nobody knows it. We're everywhere, but nobody knows it because we're hiding. Come on, we need to turn the light up. And the easiest way to do that is just start being kind to people. Don't be part of the gossip. Don't be part of the strife. Don't be part of the backbiting. Don't sit and complain all the time when you're so blessed. We hope you enjoyed this teaching. To get more from Joyce, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing.